Hi there, Miss Sully here from Learn to Grow. Here's another uh, fun craft that you can do at home with things that you already have in the house. We're going to make native d uh, drums with um, the mallets. So out of an um, oatmeal container box, or con uh, oatmeal cardboard uh, container, some construction paper, glue, yarn, masking tape, and if you have any of those hangers from the dry cleaners, the wire hangers with the uh, cardboard across it, those you can use for the, um, the mallets for the drums. And also some paper towel that's going to be um, for your mallets. So uh, let me show you a closer look at all the supplies that you'll need on, uh, with this um, fun and simple craft that you can do with your kids. Alright, so here's a quick uh, view of the things that you need to make this um, drum project. Now if you don't have those um, hangers that I was uh, referring to earlier, you can just use some chopsticks or uh, barbecue skewer sticks or even some sticks that you can collect from your yard. So now um, it's nice if you were um, if you had one of these oatmeal uh, containers that where you can peel the labels off, then you don't have to do that much with this. You can just put your um, border that I made here. But in this case, since um, the label's still intact and I can't really take it off, um, we'll just um, do it this way. We'll cover it up with some construction paper. So now the um, container is about nine and a half inches tall. So if you have to cover it up, and my construction paper is only about nine inches tall, um, and I think about 12 inches uh, wide, is um, we'll have to make sure that it's tall enough. So when I um, glue the border here, I left a quarter of an inch on the edge here. That way it's tall enough to cover the container. And so I just used a taupe and a tan colored construction paper. And what I also did here is I kind of made, um, cut like a um, crescent or half circles. So that's how, you know, we've seen some of the native drums they have where the, um, the cow hide or buffalo hide, um, it's the top of the drum and it, they weave it um, on the top and bottom. So it kind of, you know, looks like that. Well, you'll be able to see when it's finished. And I was going to, or just what I was doing is um, making this um, kind of a, you know, pattern where the, um, they attach, you know, from the top to bottom. So it kind of looks more realistic. And what you need to do when you uh, line these up, you, uh, you'll have to line up, let's see here, make sure the peak of each side, in one side here is... Um, pointing to this half circle here. So let's see if we can do this. So you just uh, glue this together. You make your triangular pattern there. So the lens case is on the way. So like that. So you just glue that. And then you do, th do this again. Just like that. And now if you do have this container here already, you can just uh, glue the, this um, pattern directly on the box since, you know, you, that'll save you one extra step. It's already brown. So let's get on. Um, let me show you how um, we're going to put this all together. All right, let's get started. So um, one more thing I forgot to mention is the oatmeal, the circumference around this oatmeal con uh, container box um, is about six and a half inches around so just make sure you have enough construction paper to go around so mine is only 12 inches so made a, another um, set here which is about um, three quarters of this one to wrap around the oatmeal box so you're going to grab your uh, masking tape this is going to go on top of the drum so you'll just pretty much uh, oops, put the masking tape across back and forth until you have the top covered. So, so far it looks like that. But we'll keep going until all the holes are sealed and the top will be uh, firm. And you keep it careful. This has got his nerf gun. So, so far it looks like that, but I'm going to try to make it look more um, so it's not transparent, so transparent. So, put 
with a couple more layers of masking tape. This is another um, great Thanksgiving project. In the key. All right, maybe one more. All right, that looks pretty good. Well, maybe one more. Cross. Let's see. Let's do it this way. Okay, so now you have something like this. So that's the top of the drum. And then we'll go ahead and wrap around our um, cover here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just use some scotch tape uh, because the glue is probably not going to dry that fast. And the finish of this um, container has a glossy finish, so I don't think it's going to stick that well. So I'm going to go ahead and just tape it. You know what? I'll start with a smaller piece here and put that in the back. I guess you can use some tacky glue as well. So, either way, okay, you know what, and I, I guess I, I use the double-sided tape, so that's even better when I put the, um, the other layer of the cover, so it'll appear together. All right, oops. So, there's that, and the, there's still purple in there, there's, I used the purple glue stick that dries clear, but that one's still a little wet. And then we'll do our second layer, and you know, I'll go ahead and put some tape in the middle here so it stays on. Okay. Put some more tape. Tape that up. What you doing, Nikki? <laughs> oh, okay, no keys. Okay, one more tape. All right. Okay. So now we have our drum. So, pretty simple. Now we're going to move on to the drumstick. All right, so the next step is the drum, um, the mallet, or, or drumstick. So what you'll need is your cardboard tube from that um, wire hanger from your cleaners and a couple of paper towels that you'll be folding into, let's see, probably into one eighth size, okay, just like that. And you'll fold it over this tube, just like this, and you'll secure it with your masking tape so that way you kind of have this, um, you know, oval shape. And we'll just, we'll just wrap it around with the masking tape and we'll go um, around and up and down too so it's, it's secure on the um, cardboard stick here. So we'll do it. And we'll do it this way. Maybe one more. Just kind of wrapping it around the paper towel and you just press it so it's all secured onto the stick there so that way the paper towel doesn't fly off. So that looks about it's pretty good. Just kind of you know squish it together. And last thing you do is um, just grab a poppy four inches of yarn, just tie it around at the base of the uh, the top here. Just double knot it. And you are all set. Make it a little shorter. Alright, so there you go. You've got your oatmeal container drum and mallet. And the kids are all set to play. So simple um, craft that you can do together and um, it's a fun project. 
Well, I hope you enjoy this episode of Learn to Grow. Again, my name is Misella. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye. So Nikki found a little place to play the drums. All done? Okay. <laughs>